when I saw this, uh, the photographs for the first time, I couldn't sleep for two nights. It was so amazing that something like this could appear. Meet Ida. She's 47 million years old, and scientists say she's a missing evolutionary link between two primate families, including the one that eventually produced human beings. And now we got something that really tells us a part of our deep evolution just in the point where monkeys and apes are evolving, the group called haplorines. And, and this is so deep down in our own evolutionary tree that this will be the best specimen for many years for the understanding of this. Scientists announced their findings on Tuesday at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Ida, whose official name is Darwinius Massile, is being called the oldest, most complete primate fossil discovered so far. Look at these fingertips. They're about two millimeters wide, but you can actually see the attachment for every nail here on the fingertips. Close examination revealed characteristics typical to primitive non-human primates, as well as those related to a human evolutionary line. She's got fingertips like we do. Small, small fingertips with nails, not claws like you should expect from a more primitive animal. However, scientists are quick to point out that Ida does not necessarily represent the so-called human missing link. Uh, we are not dealing with our grand, 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 grandmother, but perhaps with our grand, grand, grand aunt. The fossil, which is 95% complete, was pulled from Germany's Miesel Pit, a mile-wide crater known as a significant site for fossil discoveries. Ida will be housed at the University of Oslo Natural History Museum. A reproduction will remain on display in New York. This is Brian Stillman with NYPost.com. Oh, Darwin would have been thrilled by this. Um, I think he might have been secretly thrilled by this. Because uh, Darwin um, was very sensitive about the implications of his um, uh, study and ex explanation of, an, of evolution was very sensitive about human beings fitted into this. It was a nettle that had to be grasped, uh, but it would uh, offend quite a lot of people he knew. It, it would upset his wife, who was uh, a devoted Christian, um, and would upset a lot of the people for whom believed that the uh, the account of uh, man's origin, which is given in Genesis, was literally true. Um, uh, you could almost get away with um, uh, other explanations of evolution in other parts of the animal world. But the notion that human beings were cousins to other apes and that we were connected to other animals uh, was one that, that was deeply upsetting to a lot of religious people in this country. It is uh, really uh, delightful and exciting and appropriate uh, that 150 years after Darwin first tentatively put forward the proposition that human beings were part uh, of the rest of animal life, that here at last we have the link which connects us directly with us and the apes and the monkeys, with the rest of the mammals and the animal kingdom. Her name is Ida, she's 47 million years old, and you're looking at one of our ancestors. She is, according to scientists, a direct relative. Ida and her descendants evolved into humans. Since Darwin, mankind has been looking for the missing link the primate that's at the root of our creation. And this is she. Now people can say, OK, you say we're, we're, we're primates, like monkeys and apes, uh, and that we came from very uh, simple, generalised uh, mammals. Show us the link. The link, they would have said, until now, is missing. Uh, well, it is no longer missing. Nobody Nobody Incredibly, Ida was found 20 years ago, mounted and kept on a wall as artwork. Yeah. Norwegian paleontologist Jorn Hurum met a dealer with a promise of something special. The asking price a million dollars. <laughs> this is the moment he cast eyes on the anthropological equivalent of the Holy Grail. Oh. <laughs> this is the best oh. fossil and rarest fossil worldwide. Yeah. <laughs> 
you're named her after his daughter. Oh. <laughs> Meeting in secret over two years, a team of experts have examined and tested Ida. She's the oldest and most complete primate fossil ever found. They could sample her bone marrow, even test her last meal. Ida is a transitional species that developed into a fully-fledged primate and eventually into humans. She has fingers and fingernails. Crucially as well, thumbs and big toes, and feet with human characteristics. Ida will help us look through all our early stages of evolution with new eyes, because she's the only one that tells the whole story of a whole skeleton. Well, this is where Ida came from. This is Messel Pit near Frankfurt in Germany. 47 million years ago, it was an enormous volcanic lake surrounded by jungle. Now, it's thought that every now and again, a carbon dioxide layer would form on the water's surface and that animals coming to drink would be asphyxiated, pass out, fall into the water and drop to the bottom. Some of the most significant fossil finds have come from this lake, but nothing compares with Ida the link with our past, perhaps the beginning of the story of our development. She could rewrite science. She could also question religion itself. All in all, she's quite a find. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Germany. Eda's fossilised remains originated from the Messel pit. Located 30 kilometers south of Frankfurt in Germany, the pit has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1995. But the environment here was very different during Ida's lifetime. The Messel Lake is of course famous for its complete fossils. There's many complete fossils and they're all lying in resting position. It seems like they died a very quiet, non-violent death. The Messel Pit has yielded an amazing selection of fossilised plants and animals. Once they've been removed from the surrounding shale, they reveal an astonishingly diverse prehistoric world. Over 200 different types of animal and bird have been recovered from the site so far, showing that the pit was once in the heart of a thriving tropical rainforest. It's thought that Ida was discovered in Messel Pit back in the 1980s. At that time, amateur fossil hunters could enter the site and take home any prehistoric remains they found. One particularly lucky fossil hunter found Ida, but withheld her from scientists and the world. This specimen's been in a private collection for 25 years, nobody's seen it. Uh, uh, it's actually been a few rumours, I think, in Germany many years ago about this specimen, but nobody saw it. Ida is so well preserved that she can be studied in minute detail. Whoever prepared her did a remarkable job, impressive even by Messel standards. This is the only place, and it's the only place where you have preservation of complete mammal skeletons flattened like this with uh, impressions of fur around and with stomach content. So, so it's really seeing a plate like this, uh, you could say, okay, this is a mesal specimen. 